Hey there YouTube family, this is Tim once again from Mods in Motion and I've got another video upload for you. This is springtime part two where I want to cover the installation of my rear springs and rear shocks on my 1984 Camaro I call Project Plain Jane. As always, before we start working on the car, you want to grab some safety glasses and any other protection you might need while working on the vehicle. In order to install the rear shocks, we have to go through actually the inside of the car. And uh, you'll see here to access the top of the shock mount for the uh, rear shocks, you have to go through this panel here actually may have to remove the panel and or as you'll see what I did was just simply um, I did undo the panel but then I just folded the carpet over so you have to fold the carpet over on either side uh, right behind the seat when you lower it uh, and underneath the panel you will see the top of the shock mounts Okay, so this is the first tip I wanted to share with everyone um, concerning the removal of the lower bolt that holds on the rear shocks. And that is, uh, I saw a lot of people use everything from uh, literally a torch uh, to cut off the bolt to using a, uh, a, an air hammer, what have you. And that's really not necessary <laughs> because if you look at the bolt here, the head of the boat and I took mine out for the purpose of clarity and reference you'll see that it's a carriage boat and it has flat sides on either side of what looks like a smooth bolt and so all you need is a one and one quarter inch wrench to hold or box in wrench to hold the boat steel and keep it from moving while you undo the nut on the opposite side of course, it takes uh, a lot of uh, uh, WD-40 or either penetrating oil, but at this point, you want to lift the car, relocate your jack stands to move them ahead of the axle to support the weight of the car. This will allow the rear axle to drop down low enough to be able to remove your old springs and then reinstall the new springs so as you see here I chose to go with a stock replacement uh, for these uh, shocks at the rear and also uh, a stock set of replacement springs for my Camaro next you locate the hole above in the body where it comes through into the interior to locate the uh, top of the shock mount, place it in, and then, of course, you will align the holes in the lower part of the shock, and then put the um, carriage, the new carriage bolt in, um, and make sure you locate the spacer properly, and also then the, the washer and then the nut, and course after the installation is finished we will put our wheels back on wheels and tires um, lower the car and then put our carpet back in place interior pieces back in place and your installation is finished thanks again I hope this video was helpful for you um, as always if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like and thanks again for watching.